In this video, I'm going to be talking about some obstacles I've been dealing with and how I'm trying to solve them. So stick around because you might be dealing with some of these obstacles as well. And I want to provide you with solutions and how I'm overcoming these obstacles. What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Cole Acerit and I'm here to bring you the best tips and tools for improving your habits, your health, and personal growth. So if you're interested in that, if you're interested in that, and if you're new here, consider subscribing. Alright, let's get into this. So the first thing that I've been struggling with, um, and this is pretty recent, it happened this last weekend, was um, my cat pretty much broke my computer. I mean, it was kind of my fault. It was more my fault too, but my cat broke it. And let me guy. I'll tell you the story of how this happened. So it was this last Sunday, and I was um, just eating breakfast, and I was making my breakfast, and I was about to sit down to eat my breakfast, and then I heard this loud like bang and like from somewhere in the house, and my brother was with me making breakfast too. So. We both ran, or he ran upstairs and I followed him. And we looked around, we saw nothing, we didn't see the cat or anything. And then we went down and we went downstairs. And then we went into the room and just saw my cat there kind of limping with like one leg up. And we, but we, we looked around the area and it was in this other room outside the door that he was in, it's kind of our weight room, so we thought maybe we f he fell on some weights or something like that, he was limping around. We looked around and we just didn't see anything, so we went back upstairs and I ate my breakfast and, and this was in the morning, so I was just about to get downstairs and get to work on stuff and I came downstairs and I walked into this room. I literally walked through this door right here. I walked and I see my whole desk area, just everything on the ground. Since I made this standing desk here and I'll show you guys, it it um, wasn't like this before. It had weights on the top and um, weights on the top and it wasn't nailed in or anything and it was just on here because I wanted to make a standing desk and I was gonna make it more stable soon but I should have made it stable more sooner because I just put it on there a, f a week before this happened and what happened was the there was like dumbbells holding it up basically and the dumbbells fell on my computer fell on the cat so my computer ended up breaking and I had the throw, I didn't have to, but I ended, I took it the best buy and they said, yeah, you should probably just throw this out. So that's what I did. I gave it to them and they recycled it. And that's basically over a thousand dollars down the drain. And my cat, um, his like toe or foot like that just kit was completely messed up. I didn't see it, but he had to get surgery and that costed a thousand dollars and over a thousand dollars. So I was really mad at first, the first day. And it was just like, why did this happen? Like, why? Like, this is not what I needed right now. Nobody needs this. And I really just, I went on a walk right after and I just kind of said, this is a challenge. This is God, the universe, something saying, let's throw this at Cole and see how he deals with it. Let's see how he's going to respond to this. Because I really believe when something happens to you, when something good or bad, bad happens to you, what you do in response to that is so as I was recording my memory chip um, got full so let me pick up right where we left off so I believe that what we do in response when um, something happens to us really shapes our future and what we do in this present moment to face these obstacles really um, shapes the future and really shapes our success. So what I decided to do was make my desk more stable. So I got, I nailed it in, 
I um, just I kind of touched it up. I made it white, and I put like a beam under it and everything so it won't fall down. Cause I liked the desk. It just the my cat had got onto it or something, and it, it fell cause it wasn't nailed in. It wasn't stable. So what I decided to do was make it stable. And now I'm moving on from it. Yes, it sucks that I don't have a brand new, or yeah, pretty much brand new computer. I got it pretty much a year ago. And now I'm using a computer from 2012. I'm, I'm not trying to complain about this and be like, oh, poor me. I'm trying to say like, th I'm just trying to keep a positive mindset and say at least I have a backup computer and that I mean yes I and I learned from this that don't put things on unstable surfaces even that th though this is stable I'm not when I leave the room for an extended period of time I'm not gonna really leave my computer on the desk because if it falls again somehow even though it's nailed into the pretty much the wall I would it wouldn't really um, affect me as much because my computer wouldn't be on it and that i mean that computer is completely gone so anyways that's the first problem i'm dealing with and kind of the solution to it so the second thing i've been struggling with over the past few months is that my dog has cancer and it's just really unfortunate i mean i've had we've had this dog for as long as i can remember i mean it's been my dog since I don't know like since I was real young and I've grown up with this dog and she means a lot to me and our family and it's just sad knowing that soon she's gonna not be here anymore because she's really having trouble getting around and kind of just doing the regular functions of the day and she really it's really hard for her to get up the stairs in our house and it's just sad knowing she's going to go one day and how I'm kind of dealing with this is just spending time with her and every time I walk past her I'll give her a pet and just kind of give her my undivided attention sometimes because I know probably in the next few months probably before the end of this year we're not going to have her in our lives anymore and I mean it's sad and Especially if you've had a dog, an animal, or something you've had around you for a long time and they either suddenly pass away or they get cancer. It's just really hard. I mean, my dad passed away earlier this year real suddenly. And I feel like, I don't know, I don't want to say one's better than the other, but I think being able to say goodbye to someone and have your last moments with them it's probably better. I mean, I really wish I would have had that with my dad, but I didn't. And, but that's another topic. And just how I'm dealing with this is giving her my undivided attention and knowing that I'm not going to have her in my life probably in the next few months and just cherishing the moments we've had and the moments I have with her right now. Now the third thing that I've been struggling with. So I, I want to start from last year because last year around the same time I was selling weed, selling drugs. To be honest, I'm going to be real with you guys and just tell you the truth. I was selling drugs and I was making a lot of money from it. I don't know. I ended up I don't know, this last year around this time was really when I started to pick up and get into this and start just going all in on selling. And it may sound pretty bad, and it was. I mean, it just wasn't really aligned with my values, and I just didn't, I couldn't, I, I could stop, but I kept getting deeper into it. I kept buying more um, supply, and it just kept making more money, and now I just am trying to pivot in my life. I've been trying to pivot for the last half a year and haven't really found a good, another good legal way to make money, and I'm probably going to have to end up getting a job, and I want to be an entrepreneur, and I want to make money 
on my own time. So I think what I'm going to do is get a job for a few months over the winter months, save up money and side hustle when I'm not at work and keep working on this YouTube channel because I'm really starting to see a lot of growth on this YouTube channel. And I mean, not every video is a hit, but I've been getting some videos that are getting a lot of views and attention and watch time. And I think it's really great and interesting and I feel like it's starting to pick up more but I'm not making any money from this YouTube channel everything I've done on this YouTube channel is for free and I'm trying to find a way to monetize my skills and make a bigger impact on people's lives so probably in the next half a year to a year I'm gonna be releasing products or not products but services helping people improve their health, fitness, and habits, and lifestyle overall. Um, I'm going to get more clear on who exactly I'm helping, but just expect to um, start seeing me, start selling a service or something, because that's what I eventually want to get to, is making an income off of helping people, and that'll probably be my first side hustle. And yeah, that's what I'm struggling with right now. Because as of now, I have, in cash, I have less than a $1,000. And I used to have like over 5000 when I was selling. And when I was at my peak at, of selling, I had almost $10,000. And now it's pretty much all gone. And... I'm just nervous because I got things I got to pay for and um, I don't know how I'm going to pay for them. I'm going to have to get a job or something soon. And um, yeah, that's just something I'm really struggling with right now. So kind of recapping on this, I typed out something that I want to say to you guys and make this message clear to you guys. So if I'm looking down at this, I'm reading a message I specially made for this video and for you. So another thing I wanted to put in here is having gratitude for the things in our life right now. Not everything is perfect and wonderful and unicorns and like you, you can't just be like ignore all the bad and be like oblivious to it. And um, but we have to take moments to acknowledge the good in our lives instead of focusing on the bad all the time because there's other people out there that would be pretty grateful to be in my position I don't know what your position is but I mean I'm guessing that you're in a better position than most people so I have a roof over my head I have food in the fridge and clean water if you have those things then I think you should be really grateful for those because even though they're simple and we're around them all the time because we have to acknowledge the things we've become so accustomed to and think about if you were homeless and lived in a tent on the side of the street what if you lived in another country where it wasn't as good as it is in America just keep this in mind and acknowledge um, things that may be small. Maybe you have a really nice bed and it's super comfortable to sleep in. Just maybe write down in a journal. Maybe think in your head. Maybe say it out loud to yourself in the mirror. Hey, I am just super grateful for having a comfortable bed to sleep in and maybe my own room and a roof over my head. And just acknowledging that on um, a consistent basis. And I believe if you do that, then you will naturally start seeing the good in things more often and being more happy overall. If you're liking this video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Thank you. But anyways, now I'm just looking at all these problems and struggles I'm dealing with as obstacles and challenges because if you just look at these as problems and saying oh my god this happened to me the world owes me like 
this is so bad. Like, it, just with my computer, like, that day and the next day, I was kind of thinking, like, okay, like, the world owes me, like, this just can't happen to me and like it sounds kind of spoiled and annoying but it's what a lot of people do especially if you're more privileged than others and to be honest the world it doesn't owe you shit like you just have to take that and because what you do in response to it is what you're gonna get in life and i believe that wholeheartedly and you just have to look at problems, struggles, obstacles in your life as challenges that you have to overcome. And when you get to the other side of that challenge, of that obstacle, you're going to feel proud of yourself. There's probably going to be people around you that after they see your success, after they see what you've accomplished and you've overcome, they're going to be like, damn, because you can tell that story and once you're at the top. So maybe in a few years, I'm going to look back on this video and be like, man, I was pretty at my low point at this point right now. And I'm really glad I had this mindset. And I mean, that's probably what I'll think, but maybe I'll make a video in a few years or a few, maybe even like a half year, kind of just recapping on this and saying, man, I'm glad I had that mindset and just didn't fold into it and just kind of go like this, like say like the world owes me like, so I'm just going to sit here and wait for, um, the, my, uh, money, my, whatever, my solution, my Prince Charming to come and get me. Let me be honest with you. Your Prince Charming is never going to come. It's not your life isn't a movie. You're living in real life and what you do in response to problems, obstacles, and all that stuff is what makes you. Hey, so sorry, not sorry. I'm trying to be real with you guys, and if I'm stepping on your toes on this or making you a little uncomfortable, then that's good, because that's kind of what I want to do, and I'm trying to just get some of this stuff off my chest, and this is what I, other people are telling me and stuff. I mean, not telling me, um, like in person, but I listen to a podcast and stuff like that and listen to a real podcast. And I mean, this is what pe successful people are saying. And I'm listening to that and applying it into my life. And now I want you to apply it into your life. Now I have a question for you. What are you struggling with in your life right now? Be vulnerable and just say some things that you're struggling with in your life, big or small, because I want to help you find a solution or just support you. Because don't you think I was pretty vulnerable in this video? I mean, I'm not lying about any of this, man. I really, my computer really broke last week and my cat had surgery just the other day. My dog really has cancer and um, my, I am pretty, broke. I mean, I'm, I don't want to say like I'm completely broke, but I'm just low on money and I'm not nearly where I was last year financially. Fin financially last year, I was in a way better place, but in my life, I'm in a way better place physically and mentally than I was last year. So the tables kind of turned and areas of my life and kind of my career have really shifted. And I feel like for the better for the most part. But anyways, this is more about you than me. I want to help you find solutions to your problems and your struggles. So go down in the comments and let's help each other out. Thanks for checking out this video. I appreciate you so much. If you made it to this part of the video, smash that like button if you got value. And subscribe for more content on habits, health, and personal growth. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.